Okay, guys, good morning. This is What's Happening. And today, uh, as Marsha is recording us, we have a special guest interviewee, into the great Jack Nettis, as you know, who oversees our social service, which is always busy here, was important, but now, in these days, it's extremely important. So I am grateful to, you know, Jack and your staff, the wonderful volunteers that you guys keep giving, and it's tremendous because, you know, I'm sure food is right now short of, you know, and people worry about it, so you guys keep doing it, huh? Yes. Father, thanks for the introduction. You got it, Jack. My, my wife won't quite understand who you were talking about in the beginning there. Is that but, right? Um, I appreciate it. You know, hey, Jack, hold on. Yes. I see you have the old St. Teresa prayer. I do have our prayer. Why don't you recite shall, it? Shall we? Why don't you we, get that? We try to recite this yeah. daily or it's frequently. I bet most people don't know about that prayer. I forgot about this it. This is a beautiful prayer. Thanks, Jack. And I believe you're the author, Father. But, but what, whoever is, whoever it's is a that's beautiful true. prayer. Yeah. Thank you. Okay? Father, we gather at this moment ready and willing to do your work. We want to be an exemplary and enthusiastic sign of your love and care for your people. May we greet, meet, and treat all those who come through our doors as our beloved family members, whether they are first-timers or long-timers. May they feel welcome, wanted, and worthwhile here at St. Teresa Catholic Community. May we exude patience, politeness, and pride in representing our wonderful church family. May we gladly and willingly go the extra mile for our guests, for we know that when we welcome them, we are welcoming you. We will do simple acts of kindness with great love. May we do it all with a smile on our face, kindness on our lips, and joy in our heart. Grant this, we pray, in the name of Jesus, our servant and Lord. Amen. St. Teresa, pray, pray for us. us. Hey, thanks, Jack. I know you, you, you say St. Teresa. I'm still a St. Therese man myself, but it's all right. Saint person. Yes. You know, Father, we, we really like this prayer in social services. And as I said, we, we try to say it daily mm -hmm. because it really helps give us the foundation for what we're doing over there. Mm -hmm. As we meet people, as we deal with people, sometimes it's very frustrating in dealing oh. with the cases that we have. God bless your patience and your, your guys' well, compassion. And that is the guide, and that's basically what the prayer uh, entails, that we show compassion and love to those that we deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, whether we're dealing with them in the benevolence office, the food pantry, or the soup kitchen. You know, the soup kitchen, just like mom at home, her first ingredient in the meal is love. And so we want to exude that as we... Uh, serve our meals each yeah, day over yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. I know in that prayer, what struck me, is that may we gladly go the extra mile. Well, you guys have done that and I think got a little further than the mile, huh? Well, you know, again, we try to live by the guidelines. Our own mission statement is that we clothe the needy, feed the hungry, and house the homeless. We do that to the extent that we can do it, but we also, our value statement is very simple. It's not a lengthy value statement. It's what we judge, how we deal with every, every action. And right. that is very simple, love and compassion. Amen. Right, you can't do everything, everywhere for everyone, but you can do something for someone somewhere. Right. Right? And, and that's what you guys are doing. You can't solve all the problems, but those who come, you, you guys take care of. So, um, let me just deal with the soup kitchen right now. Probably, you know, that's the main thing, probably the big thing that's going on. And um, so what's, how did you change? Did you adjust in any way with the normal sure. process? You know, first off, you hit from the very beginning um, after introducing me and lauded the uh, volunteers and the uh, few staff members that we have. Very few. We only have a few staff members, but we have so many volunteers almost 100 volunteers a week. Wow. When the thrift store is open and the uh, soup kitchen and the food pantry and the benevolence office, we have about 100 volunteers a week. We now, can't do it without them. Let me just interrupt one moment because when I first came and even later on, the volunteers, I said, gee, you know, I don't recognize some of these volunteers. They go to my church and then you know, I found out. Yes. 
No, it's true. Um, they all do not go to Union Right, Park. right. It's we have volunteers from all over the uh, Tri-County area, mm -hmm. uh, many from the villages, some come down from Ocala, some go to church here, right. but many do not. We have them of all different faiths. All well, different faiths, exactly. And not just Christian. We have Jewish as well. Jewish as well. It's beautiful. It's a yeah. beautiful opportunity. Yeah. We believe that we have two, two ministries in the social service ministry. One is serving those in need. The other is providing an opportunity for those like ourselves yeah. to uh -huh. serve. All right. So we got, I said to interrupt you, but now mm -hmm. continue with the process. People like to know, well, gee, with this virus going on, how do you guys deal with the, let's say the soup kitchen for now? So, and as you know, we all sat down. We got some very good guidelines from Catholic Charities about how they're doing things down in Orlando. But what we have done with both the food pantry and the soup kitchen, we'll take the soup kitchen first. Yeah, please. We created um, distance between ourselves and the clients so that there should never be a case where the clients and the servers are touching each other. That's right. We clean off, sanitize the tables where the food go after every customer. That's right. Uh, in the back, uh, they're told to make sure that they're washing hands frequently wearing gloves, and if they are not comfortable in working, and this goes for staff or volunteers, then they should not be there. Right. And as you know, we've run short a few days, sure, and you sure. and Marcia yeah. and Deacon Joe have been there. Um, Rose right. from accounting has been there. We've had a lot of our own staff showing up to help. I Jean noticed yesterday. The, uh, blue tape on the... Uh, actually, red tape. Oh, device. red tape. Yes, and it uh, tells them how far apart they have to be. So we try to practice That's social good. distancing. Good. It's a visible reminder to them. Yes. And, and everybody is abiding by it very well. The food pantry is... So it's takeout only, am I correct? Yes, take for the soup kitchen, they it's takeout the only. They can't sit at the tables uh, outside, uh, nor even up on the hill good, uh, yeah. under good. the tree. And, and everybody's abiding by it very well. But you know, some of those people are in need of that meal every day. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure. We have not just the homeless, but the economically in the, and they're increasing. We had a couple come in yesterday. First they went to the food pantry, then they came over and said, you know, we haven't really been here before. Not sure how this works, but we both work in the food industry, and guess what? We're both laid off. Wow. Yeah. I just uh, added to that, helping out a bit, I want to say the food is substantial. Yes, it's oh my, I bet they eat better than most people do at home. Yeah. I, I mean, the meal, yeah. I mean, they had chicken. It is a nice portion, nice portion of rice. You get salad, you get the dessert. Yeah. I mean, they, they are not just getting, you know, a little pe peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, you know a lot of that food comes to us from food bank. Uh, first step, second harvest up in Ocala. And they've been very supportive of us during this time. And we're using that not only in the soup kitchen, but we're also giving it to the people oh. in the food pantry. Wonderful. So they're getting very substantial amounts of food right now. Oh, they are indeed. Lots oh, wow. of fresh vegetables right now. Good they're stuff. walking away not with a bag of food. They're walking away with multiple bags yeah, of food. Yeah, that's uh, impressive. Now, numbers. How many be coming to the soup kitchen for meals, roughly? We, uh, we had a peak last Thursday of 172 coming. Ooh, um, that's a lot of we've dropped off that. since then. We're probably right around 125 Still each day coming in. Over the weekend, where we would be in the teens, 20s, we, we, last weekend we served 40 each day. Good, thank you so much for in that. In the food pantry, about, um, well, right around 35 to 40 families a day. A day. Yeah. And the hours of service for the soup kitchen is the soup kitchen is from 9 until 1, and the food, I'm sorry, 11 until 1. 11 to 1, they get food. Yes. 11 to 1, weekends. For the, for the soup kitchen. And the weekends, it's the same hours. Same hours. 11 okay, to 1. 11 to 1. Food and, pantry. And the food pantry is from 9 until uh, 12.45. Oh, great. Right. Right. Yes. I see that Cherie there, she, she's a, she's 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 been, a treasure. She's been here that, every single God day. God bless her, huh? Yes. And now the uh, benef benevolent. Benevolent. Which that's, is that's a nice fancy word. Which yes, means. that's the office when, that they come to when they have some financial needs. Ah. And we're 
able to help them. The reason is because, one, we get grants from the federal government, and we've been very successful in recent years in increasing those grants. We get grants from utility companies. We get um, donations. Wow. And that's very important to us, the donations, especially um, from our own parishioners, but outside organizations. Yeah. You would not believe the number of outside organizations yeah. that contribute to us. And I can't forget, I'm sure you'll want to remind me, that St. Mark's is a very big donor to us yeah, in, in that respect. They've Thank been, you, St. Mark's. Yes, very good. much. They're very kind and gracious to us. Yes. Very, very blessed. Whew. You know, we, we call upon people and they respond and it's been just beautiful. Uh, and they respond in either their their treasure, giving us money, but especially the volunteers who come in and give their time. Without them, we couldn't operate. No. We couldn't operate. Yes. All right? I mean, we would not be able to operate, so. Yes. I want to thank you. Uh, no, it, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, and you. whenever somebody says that to me, I always say, no, we're blessed to be able to serve. Mm -hmm. And we are very much the conduits of what has been provided to us to give to others, mm -hmm. whether that's through the benevolence office, whether it's the food pantry or the soup kitchen. And, uh, I'm so happy to see the Mother Teresa statue. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I really am. Uh, I know we're St. Therese, you know, it's a little flower, but the Sunday about seeing Mother Teresa, it's, uh, for me, just a reminder, you know, what we're about, how to go about it. Yes. She's an inspiration. I just, I just like looking at, you know, hopefully those who volunteer can look at her and say, yep, you mm -hmm. know, we want to be like her serving the poor and seeing Christ in the poor. Yes. So that's beautiful. And then we added that beautiful crucifix. It, that, that's beautiful. And to sort of talk about the future, that should be right at the head of the uh, community garden Ooh. next fall. Well. Sorry, Marcia. I know I shouldn't have left that out. Let that leak out. However, maybe we can generate a little bit of interest for those who oh, like to garden nice. that, that, so that we'll grow our own food to provide. Good. So things are happening and Yes. That's wonderful. And the, uh, anything else you'd like to add? I, no, it, it, I as I said, we, well, actually, if you look at the time, yeah. you know where I have to be in a you few probably, minutes. You probably need to get to I work. need to get back to the kitchen. Right. So it's, uh, Jack, thank uh, I you appreciate the opportunity. All right. Now, I'll thank all the volunteers. As I said, we're right. blessed to serve. Be blessed. Thank you, Father. Carry on, God man. bless. Thank you. So there you have it, guys. Uh, you know, we probably know about the social service. Maybe we didn't know all the details. And by the way, what for you? How many years have been overseeing the? Uh, the I've been there just over two years. Oh, not we've not had a social service function here for about thirty-seven years okay. now. Okay, so you're still relatively new, two years, yes. right? Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And Mary Ann. Mary Ann, about thirteen years. She's in charge of the soup kitchen. Yes, and the food pantry. And the food pantry. Yeah, she's right? a real treasure. And Donna, who worked out with you? Donna actually ran it many years ago for about five years. Uh -huh. And then she came back and joined us two years ago. Remember, Alice used to be uh, in the social service for us. No? She, she did. Was, she, had met, she wore many hats here at St. Teresa's. Yes. Anyway, so uh, listen, you better get to work. Okay. There's, there's mouths to feed. Yeah, and after them, then there was Jimmy Johnson who ran it for about... Uh, 11, 12 years. Bless so you all. We have we great those treasures. Days, you know, yeah. I've got to mention, know that most of all things God knows. Yes. All right, man. Bless Amen. you. Thanks, Amen. Thanks, God. And so there you got it, guys. The wonderful ministry here at St. Teresa, which really makes St. Teresa St. Teresa, which, you know, it's who we are, our identity, what our mission, what we're called for. And it's one of the reasons why I feel blessed to be here, to be part of this, uh, just to observe and, you know, take in the spirit. So, Again, you, we always can use help. If you're hungry, feel free to come between 11 and 1. You won't be hungry. All right? Thank you, guys. And tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure we have it, but anyway, we have the adoration outside, so please join me. And then, mighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.